What's up, guys? It's Cove, and we're back with a game of the week. This week we got two battles in the 60 TP. We're doing a rare two battle video of game of the week. Uh, this one is going to be the top damage, and the second one is going to be just the most fun game that I played, and most clutch game that I played all week. Uh, by the way, the clutch did not happen for me. It was definitely one of my teammates, but we're still going to put it in there. Because why would you not? So anyway, you might uh, notice some different stuff from um, the past, such as um, the reticle and uh, the, the damage bars at the top of the screen. Uh, I'm running... Uh, a different mod pack than normal, and uh, <laughs> it forced me to choose some things that I didn't want to choose. So yeah, uh, this is old school's pro mod. And it's supposed, supposed to. It did not, not uh, lower the uh, in-game graphics to where like, take out some stuff that you can't take out with just like the graphics settings, right? So that's annoying, but. Here we are. We're getting right into the front of the map on Pilsen. Didn't like that situation, or the way that situation was looking, so we're gonna just change it up. And notice very quickly, this enemy team is gonna play very, very aggressively. So, uh, the super comic pinned me in uh, a place that's not a weak point for a 120 millimeter caliber shell, which is uh, quite interesting, but that was just uh, a bad peek by me. I was hoping he wasn't going to look, but he did. And now we are cowering back in our corner as our VKK is getting at torn to shreds. Super Charging card. battery. Looking like he's gonna peek us, so we're gonna just back up a little bit and play our eight degrees of gun depression to where he shouldn't be able to. Or he's just going to uh, auto pin us every single time. That's always fun. But. Two shots in. 1400 damage. This Kron's playing overly aggressive. This enemy team played really aggressive. And they ended up paying for it. So That's always great. And I'm trying to bait this uh, Kron Vong into actually like trying to get a shot into me. I'm looking to see the super conk is coming out, and then I look to my left and I see the A4 driving across the open, and I just track him in place. 726 damage, track him in place. 6 TP is a beautiful tank. Uh, I use Vince a rammer and a stabilizer on this tank, and with my second setup, I have a turbo just uh, for maps where I don't think. Where I think the mobility will help me get damage faster than TPMO. I'm just trying to get the 6 TP to miss. He missed too quickly, so now I can just drive out in the open. Put a shell straight into his lower plate for 700 damage. And now we are up to 3500. Now these guys just kind of ignore me here and just go straight around the corner. Which I thought was ridiculous because boom 725 damage into your butt dude so could say I ripped that crown a new one um obviously we want to get that crown out but we also see two seven out knee just lurking at the back obviously is anonymized 
But uh, we also put a big shell into his cupola immediately after he peeks around the corner. So. Now, the Kron takes out our E4. And I'm still thinking about that 2790. I don't want to take the shell from the 2790 because if I take the shell from the 2790, the two remaining shells from the Kron can kill me. So I'm just waiting on this 2790 to make a mistake. And he was, and I didn't have time to punish it. Because I was changing over to a heat round. I'm just waiting on him to make a mistake here. That's all you gotta do with a 2790 player. They're gonna make a mistake. Even though I'm pretty sure I can just pin 2790 with a 152 millimeter gun with a key round. And um, his .35 accuracy allows him to put a shell into my cupola from 250 meters away. Or 200 meters away or something like that. Which is always great because you know, the 60 CP just has some massive cupola, dude. He bounces off our side armor here. Leo turns himself and then gets set on fire, allowing us to rush in and pick up the kill on the Kronvang. And right now, I'm thinking, uh, there's six enemy tanks left, and I'm at 5,000 damage. This could definitely be my new damage record. Uh, unfortunately, I looked at the damage as soon as I realized this, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. I shouldn't have done that, because anytime I ever look at my damage mid-game, I'm like, oh, damn, I didn't get my new damage record. What a surprise, because I start playing stupid for it. I'd bounce off a 2790's Capola. It's always fun. Watching it back, that definitely bounced off his Capola, so uh, yeah, that's always fun. And, uh, but he's gonna get taken down anyway. And now it's time to aggress. Now with four tanks on the enemy team still alive. Got a Leo in the back. Got a Leo on the uh, rubble pile over here. This Leo on the rubber pile is not gonna be looking at us, so we're gonna be able to boom, put a shot right into his behind. He's also going to get taken out by the Rhinocerante, I believe. Did like nothing all game and started just stealing kills at the end. Um, which always fun, as as you would expect from somebody who went zero line in a Rhino. I'm going to take a shell from the E3. It's fine. He's not going to reload in time before I get up there, even without a turbo. But he's also going to help my reload. However, it's not going to do anything for me because uh, I'm spotting him and uh, he's just going to die. So. I'm going to see you guys in the second battle. And we're back here on Live Oaks. Once again, in the 60 TP. time we against the tier 8s. Wasn't paying attention to the fact that uh, there were tier 8s in this game. I gotta be honest, I didn't realize. I did however know that there were um, tier 9s in this game because I looked over and saw a player on my fence list. So. player I often play with in ranked battles, and uh, yeah, so. Anyway, we're gonna go city on Live Oaks here because we don't have the Kronvong, and uh, I didn't want to go south. No other reason than that. I was also kind of half expecting the IS-4 to go towards the city, uh, considering I've never heard of his clan, and uh, it's an IS-4 on Live Oaks. But instead, we see the Kronvang going into the city. So I'm just gonna start the way I normally do in the city, which is kind of like not going all the way to the corner and kind of cutting in right here. 
and uh, it's immediately going to work out for me. And you'll see why here in just a moment as what are you doing, sir? What? Well, anyway, now that he's vanquished, we can kind of just uh, get a little bit more aggressive in the city. I'm going to go up here, make sure. And I noticed the M3Y is kind of like driving out into the open sideways. I was like, oh, he's not getting punished, so uh, this is probably pretty safe, and we're just going to push on through. And then that grill makes it all the way through, and I'm definitely thinking to myself, I'm just going. Just going for it. Straight up going for it. Now, all of these, well, there's uh, these two games, and there was a uh, third and a fourth that were all over 5k damage, or not this one, but... This one's just a really good game, but I had like four or five games in a row where I was doing uh, four and a half to five K damage, and they were all like back to back to back. And then if I wasn't doing four or five K damage after that, it was three point five to. Like, I was averaging three point five K damage a game for fifteen games or so. So. There's a couple zeros in there, but not a lot. So, we look at the minimap real quick after we've already made it through all the forest. We realize we're up on HP, and we're just going to drive back towards the cap circle. Now, we are in a cap race. However, they have a better defense on their cap. So, me and this Fosh 155. Keep that in mind. Keep the Flash 5, 155 in mind for the rest of the game. Now we're gonna push the issue against these TDs here. This K91 is just sitting in the open spotted, so we're gonna hit him for 800. And so is the Flash. Could imagine coming around a corner and getting uh, clapped 1 2 by a Flash 155 and a 60 TP. That Flash is now gonna be on reload, so. We're going to start rushing back towards the cap. Me, the Vosh, and the T-95 are all going to start pushing towards the cap. To get resets. And... I'm going to look sideways real quick. And I think I stop here and put a shell into the tortoise. Perhaps, 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 perhaps. Nope. We see a Patton get spotted. We're gonna look for him. We're not gonna see him. We're just gonna keep driving. We're like, screw it. We're just gonna get closer. But things are starting to look bleak. There's six look seconds left on the cap now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two seconds left on the cap. A reset, whew. Don't worry, it's not the last time the cap gets that low. So we're gonna make sure this Patton doesn't kill this uh, this T95 with his next shot, and we're just gonna like uh, make him look at us, right? And then we're gonna go up and uh, yeah, make sure the cap stays lit. Somebody gets a tracking shot on the GSR, I believe, and we're going to immediately go for a shot on Bill Nye, the science guy. And now we have every advantage in this game. You're not gonna come up and shoot my Flash. I'm just gonna kill you, sir. Flash, I believe, takes out the G Sword here very quickly. And we turn our attention back towards the tortoise and the IS4. Now, you may have noticed uh, in the chat a while ago, there is a char. I was like, wow, we're just gonna lose? You guys, you guys are complete bots, I'd install. So I hit him with a, you probably still think we're gonna lose. And we're just gonna look for a shot at the guys for through the tracks, and we're gonna find it. Tracking him in the process. Bring our damage to all up to 4.2k. With four kills on this game. 
we're just gonna keep driving towards the ice floor. The fun part of the game is uh, already almost over. But instead, we're just gonna take a kill in the area. And now we're chasing a Top Gun. But there's a reloading VZ closing in on our ice floor for our Top Gun. Which is uh, quite annoying. Because I know for a fact I'm not going to be able to get there. So we're really just kind of hoping that the VZ bounces one. Will the VZ bounce one? We're going to reload heat round. And he did. Unfortunate. But let's see you guys. And we're back. Looking at the uh, stats of the two games for the week, both of them happened on the same night with a interval of like 30 minutes. So, <laughs> first game on Pilsen, 6.2k damage, two kills. Somehow that's a ace taker, but not a high caliber. I don't know. It was really fun, though. Uh, two bounces, so could have been 7k, but... Not too much to be worried or mad about here. Just a really fun game to play. Now this game. This game got close way too many times. We hit eight crit shots in this game, by the way. Holy shit. 4.6k damage, 5 kills. Nets you a total of 1,000 base XP. We ended up uh, platooning with our Fosh here, who uh, gets a snipe, tank sniper, high caliber, defender, and brothers in arms. For his 96 defense, base defense points. He only missed one shot and a Fosh 155. Just pretty good. It's, uh, it's pretty, pretty good. But anyway, I mean, this was just a, uh, an amazing, like, run of games that I had the other day in the 60 TP. Um, I was making progress on, I was up to, like, 81%, and, uh... <laughs> I had two uh, bad games in a row, and now I'm at uh, 78%. So, yeah, always super, super fun when that happens. But, uh, yeah. Second mark on this tank is uh, kind of ridiculous compared to the first. So, it is what it is, though. And uh, we're going to press on and try and get it anyway, because this is... One of my best tanks. So, anyway, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.